What's up guys? Before I do any more MU tutorial weeds, I'd like to help you improve your Killer Frost combo successfully. And as a tournament player, I find it important to find a compromise between success rate and damage. And I know there are better combos than the ones I'm showing to you, but hopefully they are not more damaging uh, by, by far, like 3% I think. So I think those are pretty consistent, and what I'm gonna do, I'm going to show you those combos, and um, I'm going to later in the video show you some tricks you can do to decrease your drop rate of those combos, okay? So as a side note, those combos are not found by me, they're found by people on testyourmy.com, I'm just using them. So uh, feel free to refer to this awesome resource, okay? Now, first move I'm showing you here is a slide, which can be done from multiple starters. And um, just keep in mind that if you're doing slide, I'm, I'm showing you damage from a raw slide, okay? If it's uh, punishment damage may, may be different. So Nicholas Vortex. You see my side and open side are switched here. So it's, it's a Vortex because... You can alter side you end on by delaying your dash. So it confuses some wake up attacks and overall it's just not cool. It was damage. There are slightly more damage in version of this, but not, not by far. Uh, Mitchell Mitchell burned reset. Okay, 29 and uh, So that I don't get this every time over and over again. Every time you do Meter Burn grab in a combo, you can either end with jump 2-2 two, two for a reset or jump 2 forward 1-1-3 one, one, daggers for a damage that could for finishing your opponent off, you know, and then around. So okay, next up forward 3, back 1 up 3, and down 2 against airborne opponent, you'll use the same combo. Actually there is another starter that uh, yields the same combo, I will get to it a little bit later. So Mitterless reset. Um, okay, that's 75. Mitterless uh, damage. Okay, and just for completeness sake, to show you the different um, combo. Okay. So sometimes your down 2 will hit your opponent sort of low to the ground. Or will hit them OTG, although it's a sort of double on Black Adam. Well, it just won't hit so consistently as you, as you would like it to. So don't push it too hard. It's um, um, there's a different combo. You can tell by you know distance from your opponent or how low he is to the ground while you're anti-airing him. So if you hit them OTG, uh, it's uh, it yields you a slight combo, and it's pretty much the same here. Uh, th so it's, a, it's a, the same combo after down 2, low to the ground, or OTG, and after jumping 3. Reset. Damage. And the meter. Mm, meter burned version of those, okay? So, uh, you, if you find that too hard, the trick to doing that is to input up 3 as, as soon as slide hit them. That's the combo for airborne slide as well. So, okay, if, if you find it too hard, okay, some, some people find it too hard. You can always sub it. That's pretty much undroppable unless you do like 2 2 2 earlier. So. Uh, you can sub it for that. It's about 3% less damage. Another important thing is... Um, jump 3 is cool. 
but it's not that good. Sometimes it just whips against your opponent. And also, if you hit it while you are ascending, like here, you cannot combo. See, you cannot. And that's a problem because you really need to against characters like Black Adam, for example. So what you do here, and also sometimes jump 3 because of weird uh, hitbox. See, hitbox is really low. It's hitbox is somewhere where Killer Frost legs are. So it will not hit people who are jumping at you at times. And you still, you know, you want to combo that if you can. So if you think you're going to hit your opponent ascending, you have to use jumping too. And that's another instant where combo, uh, the same combo as after forward 3 or back 1, up 3 or airborne down 2 works. I'll just show it to you here. Okay, so the damage is uh, really high here, and it's really uh, useful for uh, punishing those jumps. Uh, next, I'm going to quickly for you know for completeness, I'm going to show you some combos of ice spike and um, air daggers uh, that hit open airborne, but nothing really you don't know already. So that's reset. Okay, you can see a pattern here actually by, by now, I think. Oh no, that's one combo, sorry. I skipped a bit there. Damn it. Oh, I can do it, okay. So, uh, and for meter burn version, I can do it. That's a good reset and uh, overall cool. So for daggers, what you do is you remove one up three from that combos. Okay, so but not the corner moves. Kind of hard to reproduce. What the hell? Sorry. I'll, I'll get to it in a second. Hmm. It should work, I guess. I have to check. Um, the combos, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that should work. I don't know why it doesn't. That the damage and combo uh, and um, for a meter burn. Sorry for the slap in, and it's really. Um, I just fail. Okay. So okay, th the most important part probably. Uh, I I hope you got that. Just remove one U3 from the ice uh, air dagger ice spike. I'm really not into that combos yet. Just remove one U3 from the uh, ice spike combo when you when daggers hit them in the air. So if you do like U3 U3, you just do one. If you do U3, U3, 1, 1, Iceberg, you just do 1, U3, 1, 1, Iceberg. And if you do U3, 2, 2, in big grab, you just skip that U3 after slide. So you just slide and right away 2, 2 into M, big grab. So that's pretty simple. Simple like that. So yeah, I promised to give you some tips. Okay, so that's what... Uh, well, the first pretty obvious. You want to practice 
for this stuff really hard until you get it like 10 out of 10, okay? And also you have to practice that stuff too, because, you know, that's, uh, I'll just get to it in a second. You said, oh, but Belial, you've never used like single forward one MB grab ever, like in that, uh, the course of that video, you have been pretty consistent with those commas, probably. If that's what you're thinking. Well, um, thing is, uh, there are ways to sub your uh, to sub your uh, combos uh, one for another. Sometimes, just sometimes, you're too late with your uh, up threes, or your opponents launched awkwardly, and you just cannot. You know, there are different types of launch against crouching opponent and standing opponent. If against standing opponent you get this combo relatively easy, against crouching opponent you don't you do not. Uh, it's it's way harder. At this point I cannot I cannot launch him. See? He's too low. And uh thing is uh as I'm showing you here, you can you can sub uh, see uh, before it hit because I hit him in his, in his back. So if your opponents launch too low to the ground, you can actually visually see that by the time you're combing. I can see that here probably it wouldn't hit. Okay. See, so he's too low to the ground. You can, here it will hit. But it will not hit here. So you sub your forward 112 for 2-2 two, two slide. It's just one damage less. Only one damage less, okay? Uh, and you sub it and you can and then you can uh, like uh, I don't know. Uh, just give me a sec, okay. So if you if your opponent is launched low to the ground, you sub your forward 112 for 2 2 slide. And if you do that, 2 into grab will not work, but forward into grab will work, okay? So, uh, that's what you do here. It's too low to the ground, and you see that. If you visually confirm it, you just do that. That's the first tip, okay? So once again, just to sum it up, if your opponent's launched too low, and that happens a lot, it happens a lot to me, despite, you know, I'm pretty precise on that. Uh, it doesn't depend on you, it depends on characters, it depends on angles, it depends on if they are crouching or not, it depends, it depends on a lot of factors, and you can actually visually confirm it. And if you visually confirm how low he is, you just sub your forward 112 for 2-2. Two, two. So, if you use forward 112 in a combo, you can do 2 MB grab. If you use 2-2 two, two slide in a combo, then you have to use forward 1 MB grab, okay? So, that's important to practice both, I think. Otherwise, mm, or maybe you're a, like super hardcore pro, you know. And another tip I'm going to give you here is uh, if you practice, why, why that stuff is important, okay? Because if you're uh, uh, just get a little sloppy here, so you can sub your uh, two two grab in combos or two grab, and that makes it so way more consistently. For example, after slide, you know you have to hit them really high if you want to. If if they're if you're off, you cannot combo. Okay, but with that technique. See how low he was to the ground, and still combo. That make that combo so it's just one percent less. It just make it so may so way easier to combo all that stuff. You will like basically never drop your double U3 uh, into in the grab combo after sliding. So that's really worth uh, going for. It's really worth practicing that stuff. But you have to practice it like a lot. I'm practicing that a lot. You see, sometimes I'm dropping that. Probably is that because I'm just, you know, to the sleep. It's really late here already. 3 p.m. Oh, 3 a.m. in the morning. So it's really late. So 
Uh, that's the stuff I want to show you, okay? So, uh, that's the combo, that's the tips. So, uh, go ahead and practice those two MB grab and forward one MB grab. I encourage you to use hitbox because doing that on pad is pretty much excruciating. Anyway, I hope that helped at least somebody. And um, see you in the next video.